You feel stuck in life. You feel confused. So now that you're confused, that's all you can see in your reality. So if you keep telling yourself you're confused, you don't know what to do, that is the reality that you will create. And this happened all because you did not. That is truly how you have to make decisions in life. So to create clarity, you first need to... Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new. My name is Andrea Johnson. I'm a Reiki master and psychic development teacher and a transformation coach. Welcome to another episode of what I call Conscious Coffee Talks, where we discuss a topic to expand our consciousness and improve our lives. So with that being said, let's dive into today's topic. Today's topic, guys, um, comes from one of my energy work sessions that I had with a client. I'm not going to give the exact scenario, but I wanted to make a video on this because I think a lot of people can relate late and this is how to create clarity around two different decisions that you're trying to make so for example if you're lacking clarity on a direction that you want to take in your life this video will help you make that decision so guys we live in a universe that is mental hermetic law 101 everything in the universe is mind so you can think of our reality as the mind of god and you are included in that. Everything is encompassed in this energy. It is what creates everything, even this microphone, right? So everything essentially is energy and that includes you and that also includes your thoughts and your emotions and therefore your actions. Those three things actually create your reality. All of it is energy just vibrating at different frequency. So A thought vibrates much higher than an action. An action is more dense and it's more physical. So you can relate an action to your physical body because it's movement. Movement is matter, right? Your body is matter. So that is how you create in the physical. So if you're creating your life, you're creating it off of your beliefs, which are the thoughts that you keep on repeat about yourself, which then will create an action that you take in your life. So, which also create an emotion, which is the energy that powers the action and therefore ripples out into the universe and a law of attraction. The universe gives you what you are, not what you want. So the emotions that you radiate out create your reality. So whatever action you take in your life, the power behind your intention, which is the thought and the emotion, will be what creates the timeline that you get on. That will be your life, right? So when we waffle on decisions, we stay stuck. We pretty much stay stuck because we see two different paths in life. So for example, let's say that you were in a relationship with somebody and you then thought that you guys were not a good match for one another. You thought that the you were not adding value to one another's life, um, that it was a toxic relationship because of X, Y, and Z. Whatever you were telling yourself of why it wasn't working, was the you know the energy that was being created very low level right so you decided to leave because things were not working out and so therefore you left you made the decision to leave this person in a place of leaving all your problems behind of just you know they're no good for me and i'm gonna do better you know I'm gonna be better and they're gonna see that I'm gonna thrive and blah 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 you know whatever you can see you can feel by my tone of voice and my thought my thoughts behind it that that energy associated with that decision was a very low level energy so therefore my reality will be low level the level of vibration is so low with the reason why I made my decision. So that's all that I can still feel around relationships is this lower level vibration. So then you're going to 
feel that lower level vibration still around the decision that you made. And then it creates like a, oh shit, I made a mistake. I should have stayed with that person, but do I want to be with that person or do I not want to be with that person? Should I go back? Should I go forward? And then so you're stuck in the middle of this decision that you have to make now because you went back on the action that you've taken, right? You feel stuck in life. You feel confused. So now that you're confused, that's all you can see in your reality. So if you keep telling yourself you're confused, you don't know what to do, that is the reality that you will create. And this happened all because you did not take the action out of love. So when you can get your mind in alignment with the emotion of love and therefore the action behind that will create the timeline of that. So if you instead left the person because you were not adding value to one another, so therefore you see it as you are not for each other's highest, you leave because you do it out of self-love for yourself so that you, and therefore the other person, so that you no longer feel the toxicity. Um, you realize that you both are not in uh, a place to where you can heal internally the triggers that each one of you are triggering each other. You realize that you are not in a place to heal and to see love in this situation. And therefore you leave out of self-love that, you know, I just can't do this anymore. And I don't want to um, be stuck in this lower level energy anymore. I'm leaving out of love for myself and my partner so we can both have better lives and move forward with different relationships that we can take what we experienced in ours and learn from it, right? If you leave with that intention, therefore, when you go down the road and you hit those pain points of what you're going to hit or maybe hit, you come back to that re-realization that you did what you did out of love and therefore that's all you feel is love for yourself. So then your decision is sound. It's strong. It's backed by love. It doesn't feel bad when you think about it. It feels good and you're like, I did, I did the right thing. There is no question behind it and there's no confusion. So if you are stuck with two decisions that you see two different realities, you have to ask yourself, what is the highest road for me? You have to ask yourself, what does love look like in my life? What decision gives me the most love out of my life? So you have to ask yourself, what decision brings you the most love in your life, right? And to do this, you have to come from a place of self-love. That you have to do it for yourself and nobody else. You cannot make a decision that you feel like somebody wants you to make, right? So then you're going to make that decision and it will be for somebody else. And therefore, you will find yourself holding resistance around that and being like, I didn't live for me. I didn't do it for me. I did it for this other person because I felt like it was better for them. When in reality, that's not the case. And a lot of people do this. They make choices for other people rather than themselves because they're trying to please other people. They think with pleasing other people that it will bring them love. But in reality, it only takes it from you. You end up feeling resistance. You make decisions out of self-love and therefore it creates the reality for everyone else involved. It is always the best decision to make. So you're being called to make a decision from self-love and therefore creating love in your reality for yourself and the other person. So you could have taken either decision and it still would have been the correct decision because the frequency in which you would have took the action or made the decision would have been a reality out of love. You have to come to a place of self-love. You have to first work on you because this is what originally should have happened. You have to work on the relationship you have with you, how you fix what's in you. Your problems will follow you in your reality. It is an illusion that we can leave relationships, towns, jobs, whatever it so may be, and it solve our problems because the problem was us to begin with. It is our mindset. 
We were not in alignment with love. That is truly how you have to make decisions in life. So to create clarity, you first need to find where you are out of alignment with love and then make the decision of what you want in your life. What does love look like for you? There is no right or wrong decision, guys. It's only the energy we make the decision in that creates our reality. And the higher the frequency of the emotion, which the highest is love, the greatest reality we can create for ourselves. Secret of the universe, guys. There is no right or wrong. Everything just is, and it's all frequency. What do you want to experience? Do you want to experience love? Then you have to create it for yourself. Do you want to experience fear? Then you create it for yourself. Yes? So guys, with that being said, if there are issues that you're running into in life, please drop them in the comments. I would love to make videos over things that will help you um, because this is what I do in my Reiki sessions. This is what I do in my energy work sessions. This is what I do in my coaching sessions. I help you or my clients be able to shift and work through the energies that you're currently in to that of a higher frequency, to that of a higher way of thinking. So then you can create a reality around that, whether it's through energy work that we move energy in the body and then we go in and do the mindset shifts um, to get those lower level energies to leave and to stay left. <laughs> if that yeah, if that makes sense or whether it's in coaching where we really dive into your mind and we have the higher self bring to light what needs to be brought to light to the conscious mind and then we shift in which way we see things and make plans to actually lay th lay it out in front of us to create clarity then to take action from this point of being this is how we create consciously in our life but we actually have to bring to light our darkness because what we do not bring to light stays hidden it stays hidden and it's in you so with that being said guys i'm sending you all of my light and all of my love we'll see ya